Hello my friend and happy Saturday. If I look a bit pale, it is because I was quite sick the past three, four, four days. Um, but now today I finally feel much better. And now that I'm approaching losing almost 35 pounds, I thought like I'm doing a new what I eat in a day video. So I've been on a weight loss journey since last year and what I try to do as much as possible is to plan ahead, to plan my food before I'm eating it. So usually I will sit in the evening or the next morning and plan my food for the day. For me that's usually breakfast, lunch, a snack and dinner. But especially on the weekends I will also skip meals because I'm usually not that hungry. Because if it's a lazy weekend my brain doesn't need so much energy and well I'm working out often also on the weekends but I just don't experience so much hunger. So for today I had planned a slice of bread with cheese and milk for breakfast. Then a tofu and sweet potato curry. Um, as a snack I thought I would have an apple with peanut butter. For dinner I want to have nachos and something sweet. It is already 11.30 and I feel more like making lunch than breakfast. So I will just skip breakfast and I'm gonna make lunch right away now. So here's my lunch for today. This is a tofu and sweet potato curry. I will put the link to the recipe in the description box. It's from Sweet Potato Soul um, from her YouTube channel and it's such a nice warm and cozy winter meal um, and it's also really perfect to take with you to work. So I made a bit more rice so I will just freeze it and take it with me on Monday. It actually should have a bit more spinach or any kind of like green leaves in there uh, but I didn't have any more so but it's still good and tasty. So there's quite some food left and I find that is very important on your weight loss journey to really listen to your body and eating when you're hungry and mostly stop when you're full because it's a sign of your body. This is all we need, leave the rest. And everything else is drama. Of course, you first have to develop a sense of when are you actually full. For me that usually is never a problem because I can feel like I do this big sigh and then I know okay I'm done and then with food like this it is way easier for me to say okay maybe one more bite and then I finish it while probably with a pizza it is way more difficult to say okay now I'm done and to practice that I would suggest to eat food that isn't the most spectacular one like this one or just like a sandwich usually it's not that amazing so you can actually really practice to feel okay when am i actually done and then also to eat without any distractions like listening to music a podcast or talking to somebody on the phone watching tv or being on your phone on instagram it is really important to leave that on the side and really listening to your body and I would say as soon as I decide to watch TV while eating I can bet that I will eat more than my body actually needs because it is so much more difficult to catch your signals from your body um, doesn't mean that I never eat in front of the TV I do it quite often but I can see what a difference it makes if I eat by myself now I feel quite full and I crave something sweet like not super much but i think this will do the trick it's three o'clock now and i definitely crave a snack so i got myself some apple slices and egg which is not on my food plan for today because i saw i have so many eggs left in my fridge that i have to use up so i think it's important to talk about that although i have a plan i don't always follow it to a t um, it is a work in progress and some days work better than others but let's say I crave a hot chocolate tonight then I usually would say 
you didn't have it on your plan, you're not going to eat it today, but we put it on the plan tomorrow. And I think that's most important for foods that you have a high desire for. Like eggs are not my high desire foods. It's totally okay if I have it today and not tomorrow and the rest of the week or the other way around. Um, I don't really have any urges around it. But when it comes to hot chocolate or other sweets and candy and junk food, where I decide way more, where I have to manage urges way more, there I try to put it on the plan the next day. It's time for dinner. I will make nachos. Um, yesterday when I made them, like an hour later, I started to feel really tired and also started getting a headache. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the nachos, so we will try and find out today. Maybe it was just because I was sick, but I definitely want to test it out if this happens today again. But yeah, let's get started. I like to use the cheese tortillas because they taste way better than the original one. nachos more healthy by adding some veggies but I choose not to and I know they will be really good with some sour cream and now I will mash some avocado so oh, I'm already looking forward to it nom, nom, nom. <laughs> it makes a funny noise Yesterday I added some onion and with pepper and salt, but I think this time I will just keep it plain and let's smash this little thing here. <laughs> nice. Yep. So there you have my dinner and I think it's important to talk about on a weight loss journey not everything has to be super healthy. I think way more important is to listen to your body, eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. I mean this portion is probably a bit too big for me. I would say two or three tortillas less and it would be perfect. Um, but that's okay, I will eat it anyway. <laughs> Okay, chocolate wise, I think I will go. I'll take this. Maybe that. Here I have some chocolate from Christmas. Uh, I think I will go Giotto and one more shake. Yum, yum, yum. I just want to give an update. I had no side effects from the nachos, no feeling tired or having a headache so I guess it was just because I was sick this week. I had two urges to eat some chocolate while I was watching TV but it was no problem to allow them and not reacting to them and then I put two coffee beans in my urge jar and I was really proud because these urges didn't take long to process probably just a few minutes and I was okay and yeah happy with my progress that was my what I eat in a day to lose 35 pounds and I hope you enjoyed it and we see each other next Sunday bye bye